Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can change your font on your iPhone. It's probably one of the most common questions for anybody that has an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod is how can you change the font and also change it system wide so it's not just one application so it's basically for everything on your device. Now unfortunately you will have to be jailbroken in order to do this. Uh, there is a jailbreak out right now. It is for iOS 9.3.3. Uh, it's an extremely simple jailbreak. You can do it all right on your device. You don't have to use a computer. I have a tutorial. There's a card up on screen for that tutorial if you guys want to see how to jailbreak it. Uh, but anyways, what you need to download is Bitafont 3 from Cydia. This is an application from Cydia, and this will allow you to change your font system-wide. So go ahead and go into Cydia, search up Bitafont 3, as you guys can see how to spell it on screen. I'll also leave the name of this application in the description in case you forget. Uh, but once you have the application, we can go ahead and open it up. And it's a very slick app. You can basically do everything from this app uh, because all of the fonts that you're going to download will be from Cydia, but you can look them up in this application to get an idea of what they look like. So first section here, as you can see, there's different tabs on the bottom. You have your Bita font, you have swap mode, you have tweak mode, and then you also do have settings. I'm just going to show you guys how you can basically look up um, different fonts and then how you can quickly download them and then enable them. So let's go ahead. You can look up most recent, most downloaded, most appreciated. We're going to do most downloaded. I find to be the best way to look up new fonts. And as you guys can see, here are the fonts that uh, you can actually change. It has the name of the font and it actually shows what the font looks like, which is one thing I really do like about the application is you can get a preview of the font before you decide you want to use it. So you can basically just, you know, scroll through, check out all the different fonts. You can click on next to go to the next page of fonts. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds of fonts within Cydia. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. There's got to be a font for everybody in this. You even have Walt Disney right there, which is pretty cool looking. So let's say you want to do Walt Disney. Just click on that font. It's going to give you, uh, you know, a nice look at what or a nice preview of what it's going to look like. It's a pretty cool looking font. If you keep scrolling down, you can see the button there that says View on Cydia Tweak Mode. Uh, so basically all you got to do is click that and it will take you directly into Cydia and directly to that package. And if this is the font you want, just go ahead and click the Install button in the upper right and it will install it into Bitafont 3. So once you have it installed, we can basically go back to Bitafont and then you can go into Tweak Mode and you have uh, the Enabled switch. Make sure that is turned on before you even do this otherwise the font won't be enabled and then you do have your font right here so you can choose um, whatever font you want you have your custom fonts and then there's also iOS fonts below that uh, the font I'm currently using is set fire to the rain I think it's pretty cool looking uh, but that's what I'm using so basically just select whatever font you want and then you will have to respring your device the respring button in it is in the upper right and then once your device is done respringing uh, your font will be changed system-wide to whatever you chose. So that's pretty much how you do it, guys. That is how you change your font on the iPhone with Bita Font 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.